Hi, I'm Joe Wos, and this is Cartoon Academy. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna to learn about household pets by drawing one of my very favorites, a dog. When I was a little boy, I had a dog named Harry and he was the best dog in the world. I'm gonna teach you how to draw my dog. So we're gonna start with the eyes. We have a letter O shape. Right next to that, is a letter C backwards. Now for the pupils, or little dots in the eyes. One and two. For the nose, we're going to take the letter P and knock it over on its side. It looks like this. Line out, round, and up. Now we're just going to fill that in. <laughs> From the middle base of the nose, draw a line coming in and up. Through the corner of the mouth, put a capital letter B. E. Now, from the base of the nose, the side. You know, most drawings are made up of basic lines, shapes, numbers, and letters, things you already know. See how many different letters and numbers you can spot as we're drawing these. Let's try this lower lip and neck. We draw a line over and then a line down. What number does that look like to you? If you turn it on its side, it looks like a number two. We're going to take that number two and we're going to turn it into a different number. A stretched out number five. Now for the front legs and paws, we come down, around, and in. There's another number five. Up. Right next to that, down, round, and in. Now we're going to go back up to the top of the head. We're going to have the head and the ears. For a quarter of the way over on this eye, we come up. Round, down, a stretched out letter U, into a V. You know, whenever Harry would hear a can opener going, he knew it was dinner time. So whenever you hear that can opener, his one ear would stick straight up like this. So whenever I draw dogs, I always like to draw their ears sticking up. For the eyebrows, we're going to use equal signs. Now let's go back down to the hind legs. The hind legs, or back legs, start out as a number two, and then become a number three. For the back, we're going to draw a backwards letter S. Now we must add paws. One, two, one, two. In cartoons, there are lots of different ways we show emotion, how a character feels. We show it through the facial expressions, with the eyes, eyebrows, and the mouth. But with animals, sometimes there are some other ways we can show how they feel. For a dog who's very happy, maybe his tongue is sticking out, a letter U with a line down the middle, and he's wagging his tail. We draw a letter V that's curved, and then two lines for motion. Let's add a bit more to our drawing. Let's establish a bit more about the character and the setting by adding some props. Props are something a character holds or uses or interacts with or sometimes just in the background that helps establish the scene, where our action is taking place and who the character is. So think about the kinds of props or things that a dog might use. Let's start with a dog bowl. We're gonna draw a line up at an angle, and then an oval on its side, and then a line down at an angle, and a curved line across. Inside, 
gonna just add some water. Now you can name your dog whatever you want, but if you remember, my dog's name was Harry. What else do you think of when you think of a dog? Somebody had a dog bone. Maybe there's a rubber ball. That's just a circle, and I'm going to put a star on it. How about we give him a friend? Let's give him a teddy bear. For the teddy bear, we're going to start with the nose. Now we're going to repeat that shape again for the eyes. We just turn it vertically or up and down. For the mouth, an upside down letter T. And then eyebrows. One, two. For the head shape, it looks like a fuzzy pear. So we draw that texture. Just go back and forth with your pencil or pen or crayon, whatever you're drawing with. The ears are a letter C. 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 C backwards. C backwards. Good. Now, most of the body is hidden behind here, so we just draw the arms, one, two, and then the rest of the body is sort of hidden back here. Add two lines for paws, and a little bit of the ground surface. When you're all done, be sure and sign your name. Take pride in your work. That's my dog, Harry. You know, if you have a household pet of your own, a dog, a cat, or a snake, whatever it is, a great way to practice drawing is to draw your pets. Thanks for tuning in to Cartoon Academy. Mm -hmm.